ketosis fuel feed filled with all of the ketosis. Squirt a bit of ketosis on the top. What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another video. Thanks for just stopping by to click on this video. Um, currently it is Sunday the 16th of February and um, fam get excited because this is the first time I've done one of these sort of videos where um, basically I ask my following um, what sort of themed eating they want me to do for the week. So in other words, it's a full day of eating video. I haven't done one of these in a bit either. But basically I jumped onto Facebook and to the gram and basically yeah, asked people if they wanted me to do a, a vegan or a keto based um, yeah, video. So I literally still don't know. I haven't checked since uh, I posted up on my story earlier this morning. So I'm gonna check. So we're gonna look at Instagram first to see what the fam thinks. Obviously, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should definitely do so. Do it for the burgers. Um, rightio, so 56% <laughs> uh, voted keto and 44% um, voted for vegan. So go figure, hey? Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at what the old uh, Facebook fam thought. So if I go onto Facebook and then onto my story there, um, it is 50-50, but, so, no, actually that means, guess we're doing a day of keto eating, fam. Um, lovely, not excited for that, because as those of you who have followed me for any decent length of time, you will know that I love carbs, um, and uh, yeah, all sorts, so it's gonna be interesting. So we're doing keto, <laughs> So So um, yeah, it's only just gone 12 o'clock, I haven't eaten anything yet, so we're gonna take you guys along with me to the shops. Gonna be heading to my local Woolies and Coles, see what we can find. Uh, I'm probably just gonna like make shit up as I kind of look through um, the aisles and stuff in terms of just like what I'll be eating. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see what I do for dessert, um, given that, yeah, like my desserts are full of lollies and ice cream and all that sort of stuff. Everything else should be pretty straightforward, but um, yeah, so strap yourself in for a full day of ketosis, fam. I'm not gonna be tracking calories or anything like that. If you're keen to sort of gain some insight into that, check on my channel a few videos back and you can see some insights into where I'm at with the journey of food at the moment. So um, yeah, just gonna be enjoying some keto-based food. So naturally, we're gonna try and keep carbs as low as possible. And naturally, I guess it's gonna be moderate protein and high fat. So let's do it, fam. Time to head to the shops.
Let me please. Oh, sit, my boy. Oh, who's pumped for some Kino games, boy? Are you so pumped, boy? Are you so pumped to eat Kino with me today, boy? Huh? Yeah, boy. Right, let's whip up a storm, boy. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. Hill one. Let's do it, boy. So fam, we have returned from the shops, done a bit of cooking, put my washing out. So it's my first meal of the day now, um, and it is just gone 2.02. So yeah, most of the time during the week, like I don't really eat until 1 or 2 p.m. anyway, because it's just the nature of how my day goes. So what I thought is like, for my first meal with this um, full day of ketosis video, um, that I would do Kind of like what I would have for breakfast if I was a breakfast eater. So I did like a boss omelette you'll see. So I used six uh, free range eggs. I used some green beans. Um, I'm gonna be having green beans throughout a lot of my main meals today. Uh, an avocado, some aioli. And I was like, fuck yes, aioli is pretty much literally all fat. Um, and uh, a bit of beef jerky. Um, this one here in specific has, um, yeah, like the whole bag has only got, I think it's, six grams of carbs so yeah so i'm only tracking carbs i'm not really giving a shit about calories today um so yeah first meal of the day fam let's kick it off really really excited for this one it smells oh, it smells glorious <laughs> so um let's see what the first bite holds whether my eggs are undercooked or overcooked or whatever i haven't cooked a six egg omelet in a while that's yeah, good I had a bit of curry powder as well. Mm. And a bit of seasoning to pimp up the flavor. So we're in for a chic meal here, fam. Bring on some time lapse and some voiceover action in three, two, one, and boom. 
Hey hey, it's voiceover Angus Beef and um, in the voiceover components of this video I'm going to be sharing some insights and fun facts about keto that I bet my 1kg bag of peanut butter cups that you probably didn't know about. First meal of the keto full day of eating video is um, currently being recorded fam. See there, the old inception hey. But um, see if you can have a guess what you reckon this one is. I think it's got about 6 to 8 grams carb total. and Facebook angus.fairbend.16 love to have you share in my journey first fun fact I'm going to share with you fam is about something called ketoacidosis so it's something that if you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes you absolutely should not follow and get amongst the keto diet train unless you have doctor's permission um, and you're kept under close supervision because the thing is, is that ketosis can actually be helpful for people who have, you know, things like hypoglycemia issues. Um, but you've got to be mindful of your blood sugar and check your glucose levels several times a day. Because the thing is, is that for people with diabetes, ketosis can trigger a dangerous condition called ketoacidosis. This occurs when the body stores up, you know, too much ketones. Um, you know, acids produced as a byproduct of burning fat, and the blood becomes too acidic, which can then dam damage, you know, your liver. Um, your kidneys and affect your brain and if left to manifest and be untreated it can actually be fatal over time. Second fun fact fam is that studies are actually showing that you're going to have above 80% likelihood of regaining the weight that you lost through the keto diet um, back very shortly as soon as you get amongst carbs. Because the issue is, is that like even just with the keto whole concept, like it's incredibly restrictive for the average person. So as soon as you try to revert back to normality and eating carbs and you know all that sort of stuff, naturally, well, like this sort of fluctuation between restriction, overeating, restriction, eating heaps of carbs, whatever, it develops a very unhealthy relationship with food, and over time can actually be a big contributing factor to people developing binge eating disorders, which is obviously entirely what I'm not about. one is done look at that that was actually really nice um, yeah would eat again at the end but now it feels so hot <laughs> because um, let's ask Siri hey Siri what's the temperature at the moment it's currently 25 degrees okay so therefore I'm a pussy it's only 25 but it feels very hot <laughs> I guess it's because of, yeah, well, what sort of meal it was, so, um, yeah, fam, no real plan in terms of what time to actually eat, I guess I'll smash out some work and some client check-ins and stuff like that, watch a bit of Netflix for a bit, and then, um, yeah, we'll have another meal, and then another meal, which will be dinner later on, and then uh, some sort of, sort of dessert at the end is the game plan, so, um, I'll catch you guys for meal two. You call, I fall There's a legacy between us We grow, we go But in the middle So 
also found it's time for meal two. Currently it's uh, just after four o'clock. Um, so just been hustling along, doing some drawing on my iPad for my next tattoo. Um, so as you would have seen, this meal here is um, filled with all of the ketosis. We're talking a um, bit of seafood marinara mix, shit ton of green beans, um, some avocado, a few sun-dried tomatoes, so minimal carbs, lots of protein. Um, it's been pretty sick. It smells, it smells awesome. I haven't cooked marinara mix in ages. Mm. But um, yeah, like I've been just yeah I haven't cooked in ages. So while well, I was at the shops, just doing some Google searching for best you know like ketosis foods and stuff that's super low carb. Um, different sites just consistently came back with uh, seafood. So um, bring on meal two. Got a bit of time lapse action for y'all. So I um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video so far. Let's get eating. Three, two, one, and get toasted. Ketosis, fun fact number three, fam. And um, this one is interesting because I bet you didn't know this one is that. Um, through the restriction and the heavy um, yeah, deprivation that comes with the ketosis diet because of the macronutrient ratio it's quite common that a lot of people that are losing weight um, are actually losing muscle mass and that's because um, more often than not um, they're not eating enough protein and they're eating a lot of fats and very minimal carbs so because this is actually happening what will usually happen not all the time but the person will actually lose quite a lot of muscle and a little bit of fat when it comes to them losing weight so when they obviously have their typical rebound, instead of them regaining muscle, what's actually going to happen is that they're actually going to be regaining fat. So they will be back at their starting weight, but with less muscle than when they started, meaning that they're now going to have a lower resting metabolic rate, meaning that for them to have any chance of losing fat moving forward, they need to eat even less and less calories than before. So if you kind of interpret that, what this shows you is that, well, you're setting yourself up for cycles of failure that are going to make it harder and harder for you to lose weight into the future if you keep at it that way. That was actually pretty nice, fam. So that's what, yeah, meal two. So like if I ate at the time of a normal person, I guess this would have been my lunch. So not too bad. I'm already missing carbs though, I'll tell you that. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna let Simba lick this. Do some more work before we go for a walk. And then I'll catch you guys for meal three, also known as tea time, or what you might call it as. So boys and girls, it is tea time. It is currently, uh, let's see, um, 6.55 on the rocket clock. Zero blast off. <laughs> Um, with uh, a 
bit of liquid ketosis to put a bomb on this, which is a bit of um, light aioli. And we've got some uh, no calorie, no anything, um, no sugar solo. Um, because when I went to the shops the other day, they didn't actually have any creaming soda, um, Pepsi Max. So pretty pumped for this one, but for honest fam, like I've already got uh, a pretty hectic headache. Even though I've been drinking heaps of water, even though I've been, um, yeah, like just trucking along, but it's obviously because I've had minimal, minimal carbs. <laughs> but um, believe it or not, salmon's actually one of my favourite meats. As you saw, my cool technique for cooking it, look how moist that is. We're talking, hopefully it gets that, but just look at that fan. It's just like, it's got a nice bit of pink about it, incredibly juicy and oh, let's see. Holy shit. Mm. So we're gonna squirt a bit of ketosis on the top. Now bring on a time lapse for you fam. So I can get stuck into this. Three, two, one, and... <laughs> Another fun fact for you fam is that a lot of people when it comes to getting into the keto diet will consider it kind of like a golden ticket to be able to chow down on bacon and butter. And um, obviously this is not the case because naturally like you need to give a fuck about vegetables, um, which is still to a degree really hard to do um, while trying to keep to the 50 gram um, of carbs threshold. Because even in this video, the only vegetables that I ate was just spinach and green beans. And anything else that I wanted to eat contained quite a lot of carbs, so therefore I couldn't eat it. actually find is that for people who you know really just sort of commit hardcore to the high fat and low protein is that um, this will actually basically over time raise your cholesterol levels and studies show that for those who do that too much too often and ongoing will um, have a higher likelihood of developing diabetes so go figure. Check this out guys one of my um, sick coaching clients is on a deficit break at the moment she's posted up in my client group a few of the pics from that she's eaten over the weekend over the last few days. Just look at this. How good is that? <laughs> and cool news is, is that she is shredding, pardon me, with all the carbs she wants. Um, I'm mighty envious of at this present moment in time. <laughs> now in this fun fact fam, I'm gonna be sharing with you, um, I guess some of the main reasons why it's ideal, like not absolutely essential, but why it's ideal to be able to have carbs in your system, especially if you're someone who's active and lifts regularly and um, gives a shit about performance, all right? And one of the biggest things that you need carbs for is energy, because the thing is, is that carbs are your body's main source of energy. Um, and they should be in a healthy, balanced overall diet. And if you've got no context of what an overall healthy diet should look like, this is where you can refer to the National Dietary Guidelines um, because they give us a great foundation in terms of how to base our eating choices on. Now, in terms of carbs, they're broken down into glucose, so sugar, before it gets absorbed into your blood. The glucose enters your body's cells with the help of something called insulin. Then glucose is used by your body for energy and it fuels you for activities, for lifting, for exerting yourself, that sort of thing. Um, and then obviously like, you know, when, when you go for a run, for example, right? Unused glucose can be converted to glycogen, which is found um, in the liver and muscles. And then if more glucose is consumed, uh, that can be stored as you know glycogen and converted to fat for long-term storage of energy. And the only way that someone is going to be able to gain weight um, in 
terms of overall fat and getting heavier is because they're consuming not necessarily too much carbs but because they're consuming too much calories overall and then obviously you've got things like starchy carbs that are high in fiber release um, glucose into the blood um, much slower than um, sugary foods and drinks for example Now following on from my last uh, fun fact fam, it's important to know that there's not really such a thing as good and bad carbs, it's all about good and bad quantities in the context of your overall calories of gold, alright? Now the thing is, is that while we can technically survive without sugar, it would be difficult to entirely cut out carbs, you know, from your overall diet. 
because the thing is, is that carbs are your body's main source of energy. So if you take them out entirely, your body is going to be using protein and fat for energy. And what that's going to then cause is that it's going to be really hard for you to get in enough fiber, which is important for long-term health and looking after your gut. Um, obviously, there's more nutrient-dense sources of carbs, such as you know high-fiber starchy foods. You've got vegetables, fruits, legumes, and stuff like that. Um, which are all important sources of nutrients and they even contain things like calcium, iron and you know, vitamin B. So when someone significantly and massively reduces carbs um, you know, for the long term, well then what I've personally found just with my own experience from seeing with clients and stuff like that as well, is that it makes it very difficult to perform optimally and it can lead to health problems overall. And then naturally, even as I experienced with one day uh, being in ketosis, like headaches, weakness, um, dehydrated despite the fact of drinking lots of water. Um, so it's like when someone is considering getting into the keto diet, this is something that I only really advise should be done if they're extremely overweight and don't really move at all. Uh, and then to a degree, um, if they suffer from epilepsy, because um, there was a couple of studies um, in the 1920s that um, basically showed that, like it didn't 100% prove, but it showed that when someone um, was on a keto-based diet, that it helped with their epilepsy. So if you don't fall into that category, unless advised by a doctor, I would highly advise that you learn to include carbs into your eating. Um, and uh, yeah, notice the benefits over time, especially when you learn more about thermodynamics also. Here we go, fam. Tell you what, peanut butter is life. Um, so that's the last meal done. I really hope you like this video. Seeing me put myself through a day of ketosis. So shout out to my social media fam for bullying me into doing <laughs> uh, into doing that as opposed to vegan. I would have definitely preferred vegan. That would have been so much easier. Um, but yeah, got it done. Um, you know, feeling decent now. Now that I've got some more meals in my system, I did have a hit headache like late arvo, um, which I expected. Because um, yeah, like normally, like even even just like when I was close to the end of my prep for my bodybuilding comp, um, I did a few. But like my, my last bodybuilding comp towards mid of last year. I was still having like 250 grams ish plus carbs, you know what I mean? So it's like there's literally no need for anyone that's active and um, lifting and valuing their health. Like there's literally no need for you to go keto to be able to lose body fat if you are all over it with your calorie consumption and looking after your biomarkers. Pardon me. But hey, this is just for fun. Hope you got some, uh, I guess, what well, meal ideas as well. That was just me thinking on the fly in terms of um, yeah, just putting together a day of keto eating. Not sure of the calories and macros. I don't really give a fuck to be honest. Um, but feeling good. Um, and I am more than willing to give up eating keto in favor of all the carbs tomorrow and um, <laughs> ongoing. So yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, obviously give it a like. That'd be sick. Be keen to share in some of my uh, more intimate journey and stuff through Facebook and social media. Check out my handles below keen to see some more insight into my coaching and what I actually do for a living in terms of um, coaching people, men and women worldwide, to be able to love themselves and learn how to eat again and basically just unlearn all the dieting bullshit that keeps them stuck from getting the results that they want. If you're keen to learn all about that, there's also some links in my description as well. Um, and otherwise, if you're new to the channel, we'd love to have you hang around and check out some more of the videos in the upload section. You can learn some more about, yeah, just cool knowledge bombs and all sorts of cool shit. But big love, thanks for watching. Now that I've finished filming, it's time to edit this beast. <laughs> but obviously for you, you're seeing it real time. So thanks for being here, big love, and I'll see you around.